Hey creators, welcome to the Graphics Creator. My name is Mark Sylvester, and in this video, I'm gonna get you up and running uh, with using the Graphics Creator so that you can start getting more clicks, more sales, and getting more traffic. So let's dive in. Okay, the first thing you're gonna notice when you come to this home screen are the template categories. There's logos, you're gonna have e-covers that you can make, uh, social media graphics. Okay, so scroll down, click on any of the images to see the different templates that you're gonna get. Um, underneath each, each box shot, you're gonna find a little info button. So go ahead and click on the info button and you're gonna get a quick little how-to tutorial on using that, that particular template set. Same with the e-cover creator and the scenery creator, they all have their little info buttons. Okay, so let's jump into one of the templates. I'm gonna click on the e-cover creator for now. And when it loads up, you're gonna notice all of the templates that you can modify. Okay, easy enough. Now there's uh, one other thing I wanna make sure you keep in mind. This up here is a menu. When I click it, I'm gonna get more items. Most template sets have multiple items. For example, the logo uh, set has the logo section and the business card section. So here are the e-cover templates and um, there's also 3D models that we're gonna map our covers onto. Okay, so keep that in mind. So let's go up back up here to the e-covers and to modify any of the templates, we can just select one that looks good. Let's, let's do this one. Okay, so I'm gonna click on it. And when it loads up, you're gonna find different elements. Everything in the creator uh, is, is it created in different elements. So here's the money, here's text, the text can be moved, the box is, is on its own little layer, okay? Everything is modifiable. So the first thing you'll notice when you click on text, the menu here to the left is gonna have the text editing options, okay? And when you click on a graphic, um, you're gonna find that the menu is changed to the graphic uh, editing menu items. Okay, so uh, every graphic and every piece of text uh, contain these little grab handles here. Okay, so the grab handles allow you to shrink the text, tiny, or make it really big. Okay, easy enough. Same with the text. You can drag, uh, shrink it, make it really big, okay? And also, you'll notice that at the top of every um, box, I guess you call that, marquee box, there's another grab handle that you can take and you can rotate the elements with, okay? Same with the text. Take the top and rotate it, all right? Easy enough. Okay, so just like most graphics apps that you've probably used in the past, to edit the text, you just simply double click it, okay? And I can type in, I don't know, Hawaii. Okay, so there's my text Hawaii. And up here, I wanna, I wanna grab this piece and I can double click on it and I can say something like, visit Hawaii. Now that's tiny, so of course I want to make that bigger. And I'm not really fond of this font, so I'm gonna come over here to the text uh, format feature. And when I click on the button, you'll notice a whole bunch of other uh, options here. I'm gonna click on Google Fonts. We have 880 Google Fonts attached to the graphics creator. So when you click on the fonts, you can click on the big blue button and you'll notice a list of fonts. Or if you want, you can find the other 800 fonts by clicking the preview Google Fonts button here. When you click it, it's gonna give you um, the Google Fonts that you can scroll down. And like I said, there's 880 of them. So to sort them a little bit, you can choose on this little category button. And when you click it, you can uncheck everything that you don't want and leave only handwriting uh, graphics, If you, I mean, handwriting uh, fonts if you want. Or you can change it to display fonts, which are more uh, artistic, bold type of thing. So when you find a font you want, so for now, let's just use, uh, I don't know, this is good, righteous. So remember the word righteous, R-I-G-H-T. I can close this window. I'm gonna come over here to the Google Fonts again. And in the search fonts, I'm gonna uh, type in R-I-G-H-T. And there is the righteous font. When I click on it, it changes the font in the graphic to what I want. So that's a little bit better for us. 
Now, <clears throat> since we're calling it uh, Hawaii instead, we're gonna take the money and we're gonna delete the graphic with my keyboard, the delete key on my keyboard. And now I'm gonna come up here to photos and videos. When I click on this, I'm gonna see a little search box. When you click on the search box, let's type in Hawaii and see what kind of pictures we get. And I hit return. And oh, cool, there's a lot of good pictures. All right, so scroll down, find the one you want. So I happen to like this one. So I'm gonna drag it over to the canvas, click and drag it. And now uh, I see these little grab handles. I'm gonna make it bigger so I can see it all. And actually, let's make it a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna go up here to the options menu. Okay, you're gonna find different uh, menu items up here. Okay, so the options menu is gonna let me step this graphic further to the back. So if I say send further, it's gonna step it back one layer at a time. Further, okay? Or I can slam it all the way to the back by setting, saying send back. Now, there happens to be another graphic in the way, so I can take this graphic and delete it, which I'm going to, or I can take this graphic and send that to the back as well. Okay, uh, now we, this is kind of dark. So what I'm gonna do is come over here and I'm gonna close the, uh, the images box and I'm gonna click on the graphic. And over here, image format, you're gonna find a whole bunch of other tools when you click on each button. So here I can set the opacity super light so that we can see the background. And let's even bring this down. Let's bring this down and visit Hawaii there. And let's take this graphic and make it a tiny bit smaller. So it's super easy to manipulate everything, all right? Now I see uh, a, a thick outline on this. So let's see if we have an outline option. We do here, text outline. Let's make it thinner. And over here is the color for the outline. So if I click on it, I can make it black or white or purple or whatever I want. So I'm gonna make it black and I'm gonna make it a little bit thinner. Okay, and now the, uh, the canvas size is a little bit too square. I wanna make a Pinterest graphic, for example. Pinterest is pretty rectangular. So I'm gonna come over here to return to text menu. And no matter what I click on, either a graphic or text, there's always gonna be a format canvas button that's gonna be there. So when I click on the format canvas button, I can take the height of the canvas and make it really long. And here's where my uh, pixels are. Or I can make it really, really wide. Now the cool thing about the graphics creator is that you can make um, a canvas that's 10,000 pixels by 10,000 pixels. So if I format all the graphics by clicking on it and just making it really big, um, okay, I can use this graphic to make a t-shirt, uh, a poster if I wanted to. So I just have to kind of reformat the, the, uh, the images inside of it. Okay, so the canvas can be super, super big. Now, it's gonna shrink on your, on your monitor a little bit. And you'll notice up here it'll say 13%. So it might look small on your monitor, but it's a 10,000 by 8,000 pixel canvas, which is, you know, pretty good. Pretty big. It's like 60 inches or something like that. Okay? So keep that in mind. Okay, the other thing I'm going to show you uh, are the elements. So if you click on this element button here, um, I'm going to have this other menu with a whole bunch of cool things. So I have backgrounds. Um, borders and you'll see the graphics pop up here okay there's realistic elements like pencils and a wine bottle you can bring a wine bottle over and everything is made in a transparent with a transparent background so it fits really nicely okay so there you go and um, there's a whole bunch of items so basically click on any of these uh, buttons okay and you're gonna get um, different uh, elements here okay um, now if you do something that you don't like and you want to kind of revert to what you used to have 
there are there's an undo and a redo button up here so when you click it it's going to step back all of the steps you've taken until until um, that point and you can just keep reversing all the way until you're back to the graphic that you wanted and if you find that you wanted to go back and reverse that you can hit redo and it brings all the steps back so that's a really cool way to step back in time or step forward in time okay so let's go all the way back to what I just did and I actually don't want this so I'm going to delete it okay so let's manipulate that a little bit okay so when you're finally done with everything and you want to download this so you can upload it to Facebook or Twitter or you know Instagram or Pinterest or whatever come up here to the file menu and you're going to download the image okay and let's call this Hawaii test all right you can save it as a JPEG or a PNG graphic and you simply click download and it's going to download to your downloads folder all right, so if I open up my downloads folder on my Mac here, here is the graphic. I can see that it is, let's see, it's really big. Okay, see how big that is? All right, that's cool. So it saved it as a pretty big graphic because I forgot my canvas was like 8,000 by 5,000, 6,000. So there's your graphic and you can make a magazine out of, out of it if you want to. <laughs> okay. Uh, then let's close all this stuff when you want to save your graphics so you can revisit this later come up here to the file menu and you're gonna hit save as and we can type in a name Hawaii test and you can set a category like my category here will be travel for example okay and I'm gonna hit save and it's gonna save it into that travel category so once it saves, then you can close this box by going to select designs here. We're gonna find some more designs and you'll notice that you, now you're in your travel category. Here's my graphic, okay? Up here you have, here's my other, I have other um, uh, categories that I've, I've done tutorials on and I've kind of uh, categorized my graphics, all right? So this is where your saved images will be. Okay, here's my e-covers I've made. All right. Okay, so when, when, so when you want to modify your uh, graphic, click on your category, find your template, and I'm going to click on it. It'll load it up. Okay, and this time instead of Hawaii, I want to delete this, come over here to photos, and type in, I don't know, Alaska, because that's part of my category and let's bring this over and make it big and what are we gonna do move it to the back and now instead of visit Hawaii I want to visit Alaska all right I'll make this big and this small now I want to show you one thing here that's really cool I close this and I want to make the color of Alaska the same as the uh, Aurora Borealis image here. So if I click on it and I come over here to color, I can use this little eyedropper tool. When I click on this, whatever I click on on the canvas will change the text to that color. Okay, pretty cool, right? So that's how to change the color to fit your uh, style or your color palette or whatever you want. Turn off the color swatch, and now I want to re I want to save this now into the same category. So I come over here to the file menu, save as, and I'm going to type in Alaska here. But here now I'm going to scroll down to the category I saved, and I'm going to find travel, and save it. Okay, and now when I come to select designs, I'll notice I now have two templates in my category. So that's it. I hope this gets you up and running. So go ahead and log in, uh, click on a template set, and have fun with everything. And I'll see you in the next couple of videos.